my first one of these, man. I'm so excited <laughs> about it, and I just, you know, love doing these things. You know, it's like, I mean, I wish we could do them like four or five times a week. You know, a day, so. a day, really. Yeah. Okay. We <laughs> turn sale. <laughs> no, I like you guys. You know. <laughs> you, you end up with uh, in this week ahead, and just, you, know, you end up with a few days off and some much needed practice time for you guys. How do you make the most of these days? Uh, exactly what you're talking about. Just trying to clean up some things uh, practice-wise, uh, you know, add a couple of things here and there. But you know, for the most part, just it just gives us an opportunity to practice and uh, uh, you know, get in some scrimmage time and uh, and as I said, uh, adding a few things and then cleaning up some things. How about the, the Harrison? Uh, obviously, he was able to get a practice in yesterday. How was he? Today? Uh, he's okay. You know, I still think he's day to day. You know, we won't know about the game until you know tomorrow. It, see how he feels at the, the practice today and everything. So uh, we'll just keep a close eye on it and see where, where it goes. We heard Aaron talk about uh, forcing turnovers. He said, the team hasn't done that at a great rate this year. Is that something that you're looking to do a little bit more often? Wait, I actually, we talked about that today, about how you know we have to be in a position where we're, we're forcing turnovers and creating easy baskets for us. You know, So uh, you know, active hands and getting into the ball a little bit better uh, than we have. but. Uh, we need to do that. Uh, that helps your offense, obviously, you know, when you're coming up with live ball turnovers and being able to run out with numbers. So that's one of the things that we emphasize. Um, when you're talking about Harrison, with you guys having four days off after Saturday, is it is that under consideration that maybe giving him like a whole week off here? Yeah, it, it is. It is. It's one of the things. I mean, obviously, we'll talk to the uh, medical people about that. But, you know, if there's any doubt whatsoever, you know, we wouldn't just stick him out there now. and. You know, like you said, we've got, you know, another three days after this that, that he can rest and, and go through the practices uh, if we have to. So unless he's feeling great and uh, the medical team agrees with that, it's not anything that we would ever take a, uh, uh, you know, a big chance on, on doing unless he is feeling really, really good about it. Have you noticed a change in your team since uh, the conversations that they had and you guys had um, both on Tuesday night and Wednesday morning film sessions? Yeah, I, I think what uh, you know, I think what we we're, we're we're back to the same old thing though. We have to be consistent. So I was I was happy with the reaction that we got for the Clipper game. Uh, so now you know we'll have to come back and see, you know, can we duplicate that again? You know, the the whole thing is that uh, getting to the point where we're consistent and we have a thorough understanding of what we're going to get most nights. And you know, some nights you're going to make shots, some night not some nights you're not going to make shots, but are we going to be consistent in what we're doing in all the other areas? That's that's the thing that we've got to get better at. You guys knew coming into the year you were a little thin with uh, like guys who could go at the three, four spots, Harrison, Moe. What what are the challenges that you know are, are presented when you've got one or lately both of them um, on the shelf? It's tough, you know. It's tough, but uh, as we say to the guys, it gives uh, uh, people like TD an opportunity to have minutes and. Uh, I talk to them all the time about you have to be prepared and ready to go. Uh, so when those minutes are available, that you take advantage of it. I thought uh, uh, TD played really good basketball for us uh, the other night. And so, you know, it gives them an opportunity now that, uh, you know, when the other guys come back, uh, you know, we wouldn't hesitate to use them again. So I think that's what you got to do when you're a player. And I, and I tell all the guys that at some stage you'll get an opportunity. It's just the way the NBA is. And over an 82-game schedule with injuries and personal things and, you know, with this crazy world we're living in right now, you know, there's going to be an opportunity for you to play, and you just got to have yourself prepared and ready to go. Offensively or defensively, either side, when you have an opportunity like this with Hayes to, to work on things, do you – are you hesitant to implement anything new or introduce anything new? Well, we, we did introduce some new things, but very very simplistic things, very simple things. And, uh, you know, so a few things that, you know, I've run over my career and, uh, and uh, maybe a, a, a little bit different out of bounds play. But for the most part, you know, we're, we're trying to perfect what we have in because that's kind of what we went through training camp with. And, uh, and so to try to turn, uh, change it in the, you know, uh, four for the season already gone, where you don't have those practice days to con continuously go over it and, uh, and, uh, and, 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 and use the, the reps to get better at it. It's, 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 it's very tough to put in a lot of new things. 
We focused on Harrison, but um, where are we at with Mo? Where are we at with uh, with Marv? Are they back or not yet? Yeah, uh, you know, Marv practiced today, and he's still feeling a little under the weather. So, you know, we'll have to see what happened tomorrow. You know, uh, at shoot around or when he goes out warm up for the game, uh, and Mo. Uh, he's gonna. He, he won't play tomorrow, uh, and we'll just see where he, he gets after that. We'll have the three days, like you said, and uh, see if uh, he'll be ready to go then. Go ahead. He, he, that, um, he got it. That was it. Okay. Yeah. So you, so he stole your question. <laughs> he he didn't saying. steal it. He just, he well, just got no, it. He, he pretty much stole it. I thought. You know. <laughs> okay. You, you didn't think so. No, no, I'm glad he asked. Oh, but he raised his hand, so okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. You know, I'm saying I, 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 I win. Yeah, I've never seen two reporters fight. I, you know. Oh, I I wanted, uh, oh shit, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah we, we got a couple.